Coming up on Big Island Video News, the mayor submits his final budget for the upcoming fiscal year to the Hawaii County Council, and it includes a raise in property taxes. Governor Neil Abercrombie was in Hilo this weekend to announce his run for re-election in 2014. And Kau celebrates its world-renowned coffee brand during a week-long festival. Covering Hilo to Kona, Javi to Na'alehu, this is Big Island Video News. I'm Stephanie Salazar. Our friend, the Honorable Neil Abercrombie. All right, great. <laughs> Thank you. Governor Neil Abercrombie made a quick trip to Hilo on Sunday to formally announce his 2014 re-election campaign. So that we can run on our six-year plan, our New Day plan. Our New Day plan now has a new way forward. Speaking to a crowd of supporters outside the Tech Works building on Keikua Na'oa Street near the Hilo Shopping Center, Abercrombie said he believes the upcoming campaign will be won on the neighbor islands. When I ran for office and when I came here to the Big Island and asked you for your support and asked you to put your faith and trust in me, I said you'd get energy and action if I was elected governor, and that's what you've got. You've got the energy, now you're getting the action, and that's why we're going to move forward, not only on the Big Island, but all across the state. Speaking to the crowd of supporters, the governor acknowledged taking on the tough issues and making decisions that weren't always popular, but he said that the days of fiscal chaos are over. There were hard choices to face. There were tough decisions that had to be made. But one of the reasons I'm announcing right now that I'm going to be running again for election is because over these past two years, thanks to your faith and your trust, and thanks to the help of our friends in the legislature, we've turned this state around. We will have more from his speech later in our newscast. Mayor Billy Kanoi is looking to raise an additional 10 percent in property taxes as his final budget proposal for fiscal year 2013-14 has been sent to the Hawaii County Council. Kanoi says the balanced budget includes estimated revenue and appropriations of more than $394 million. The administration stresses that the budget is $8,886,474 less than the budget in effect when his administration began in 2008. Now the budget is in the hands of the Hawaii County Council. Um, I'm waiting for a, a community meeting out in Hamakua. Uh, the mayor has agreed to come out to Hamakua uh, to give a presentation on the amended budget. The Real Property Tax Task Force, uh, that has been postponed till our next meeting and we're looking at putting the task force, who needs to be on the task force. Ka'u was percolating on Saturday during the Ho'olaulea held on the grounds of the Pahala Community Center, part of the annual festival celebrating the region's decorated coffee crop. Organizers say the event has been growing, like the value of the product. We think it's our biggest festival yet. Um, people coming, going all day. The parking has uh, become a little bit of a problem. Great crowd, great music, great food, great coffee. Really couldn't be more pleased. Everything seemed to run a lot smoother this year. This is the fifth year of the Ka'u Coffee Festival. The highly anticipated annual Dai Fukuji Soto Mission Bazaar drew a crowd in Honalo Kona this weekend. Billed as a building fun bazaar, the Sunday event featured food, preserves, baked goods, and fresh produce. There were also orchids and plants, crafts, a rummage and white elephant sale, clothing, massage, and even live entertainment. This is Big Island Video News for Monday, May 6, 2013. I'm Stephanie Salazar.